Same place as yesterday, same location, except the weather's different. Much nicer today. I was like, oh yeah, nice to have the field to myself, and then see this drive up the up the field. Like from like down there. Leave. <laughs> Seriously, we just have, have some time to ourselves. Leave. <laughs> so this is the path I'm used to walking on, right? And you see the path where should just go straight on, right? So obviously the council have been cutting down trees and it's done this to it. There's some people on the, I like, like I showed you earlier, it, there were some council people on the field and the reason they were there was to do lawn mowing. Tip guys, if you wanted to do that, you could just park your car on the side of the road and just take the lawn mowers with you. It's not hard, is it? Is it? I've walked up to the top of Siddle from my grands. Nice view. Do you know, we've only done 0.3 miles. Damn. All that little distance for this, such a nice view as well. Fair to say, you don't even have to travel far to get a nice view. Nice. It's nice to have the cemetery to myself. Literally, there's no one here, but I can bet good money that when I get to the bottom of the cemetery, like just like literally on the opposite end down there, there'll be people doing what they need to be doing, or just walking through, or driving through. The emerging of a nice view and a nice vintage car in bad condition. Yeah, that looks quite damaged uh, and abandoned. Oh yeah, look. <laughs> oh boy. I think that needs a bit more work on it than it looked from the back. But, I know where I am. Yep, know where I am. Better get on pavement before something comes. So, I don't know if you'll be able to hear me because it's a bit windy. If you can, then that's good. So basically, I'm going to Bradford today for work. Uh, got my ticket. What is it now? It's the 21st of September. It's quite nice and windy though, but it's not really good for vlogging. So going into work and it does smell very nice. It's not me. I'm being honest, it's not me. It generally doesn't smell nice today in Halifax. <coughs> Which is a little odd. So it's now 8.43 and I'm getting a train at 8.49 and it goes to York but I'm getting off in Bradford because you know that I work in Bradford and not York or anywhere past Bradford. So yeah I'm gonna be finding out probably today maybe about my probation because I've only got this week and then next week of my 12 week probation and then that's it and I'm not saying that that might be it because they might A they have to either they'll either want to keep me this is what my mum said either permanently in a permanent role or another 12 week probation role which would go all the way up to the 24th of December aka what do you call it Christmas Eve but if you don't, then I'm just gotta look for other jobs really and start again. But my mum did say to me, why if the if the trains you on tills, stock tills, got you in different departments, getting you doing short telling you short notice shifts and doing all this with you, if they hadn't done any of that with you, it's an indication that they might not have wanted you. But that they've done the, the fact that they've done all that with you shows something I said yeah I guess so so I'm gonna stop vlogging because my arm's getting quite achy now <laughs> but whatever ha if I find out today from head office saying like oh Jamie we want, we want to do this with you then next time a vlog will be after I finish work 
and then say what happened. If nothing happens, then I'll just explain nothing happened. About to get on the train real soon. I mean, I've been in Bradford so many times and noticed that leaf structure, right? But I've never noticed this. Bradford's twin towns, Roubaix, Vervier, Scott, Javier, say that, and Mons and Gladenbach. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. And they're the law courts. Never been in there before. Not that I would need to, of course. And it's turning really windy again. I'm sorry, but when you see someone in a costume like that, you want to do the bad thing, which is to hit them in the in the where it hurts most. Oh my god! So the train's in a few minutes. It's about seven. It's about five twenty. Gets here in five minutes, so that's not really long of a wait. Plus, as well, I'm gonna have a meeting tomorrow about my probation. I went in today and talked about it, saying uh, I'd like to know what's happening. Because this week and then next week, as far as the 12 week probation goes, will be my last two weeks. So this is the last week and then the next week will be my proper last week. So I'd like to know if it's just two weeks to go or they want to keep me on. I'd like to think they would, but it's up to head staff it's up to them so if they don't want to keep me on it'll be quite a shame it'll be quite a shame for them for me then because i'll be like back to square one with looking for jobs and such like yeah that'd be so i'd like to hopefully think that this will come out good i mean staff i think I mean, I think the, the staff like me having that, having, I think the staff like me being there and I like talking to staff, I like getting on with staff and working with them. Uh, yeah, so tomorrow, roughly four o'clock-ish, I'll find out. Yeah, so decision time. So it's 50-50 really, do I stay or do I go? But Jesus, I have to wait till tomorrow to find out. Right, so the bus driver has not let, didn't want to let me on because I got an open top can that's already open. The amount of times <coughs> I've been on the bus, had a can of something, been fine. He's like, oh, I'm not letting you on this bus because you've got an open top can. That's what they are, idiot. <laughs> bus driver. Uh, so. I was like, I got off, I was like, damn it, what am I gonna do? And then there was a woman nearby and I was just saying, I was like, I've been kicked off because I'm drinking a can of this. I thought it was just because of the this. Then I'll hide it in your cup, I'll hide it in your cup pocket. So that's what I'm doing. So I'm gonna have to have this before I get to my trail. Why? What an idiot of a bus driver for saying I can't come on with this on. So I can't come on with this on, but you can come on this. Hmm. Don't know about that one. Is that really fair to you? Is it just the bus driver? Yeah. So you see the sign here saying footway closed, footway closed right? So the, uh, the whole path, right? But you can see further down it's not even closed. And I'm apologising if you get this car in the way. It's not even closed. <laughs> what? <laughs> like, just that tiny little bit closed. Not the rest. I love Westvale. I really do. I like Westvale because you just get stuff like that. And it's funny. <laughs> it's quite funny. Uh, also as well, I've got a bag of M&S stuff, got a dining for 10, Jesus Christ, now I really cannot see uh, some stuff from the dining to 10, 
and a few drinks as well. Yeah. Yep, it's gone on him. Oh, he's still there. next day I'm pretty confident I'll get to the train station and I'm like yay great the train's there but there'll be two idiots that don't know how to pay or they're taking very ages to pay and I'll have to miss it that's likely what's gonna happen so I was quite lucky to catch it it was literally as soon as I got to the platform it, the train comes for 8.48 and it turned 8.47.30 so and then as soon as I got to the platform we were pulling up that was ideal, straight on. And uh, yeah, off to the of course. So it's 848, so about 5 plus 9, 9 ish, right to the And uh, we have a little bit of a long round. And yeah, maybe even going to the shopping maybe. For So I've never been to this bit before, but I'm not lost, because literally all I have to do is just turn left down there, and I'm back to the centre. So this is the main road, eh? Is this real? It's called Siri Porn. <laughs> Thai Spa and Beauty Therapy. Thai Massage. Siri Porn? Bloody hell. I was like... It can't be that, right? When I was walking up. Jesus. 
You know, I'm tempted to ring that number and just... I don't know. Someone must have rung that number and, be rude, and had to have been rude before. Because of its name. What? Just come across this set of graffiti, it's quite nice. I'm literally heading up. But I know, if I get lost, I'm like literally just... See down there? Just literally head to the bottom and I'm at Broadway already. Looks pretty cool this. I think I might just head back down now. I'm just going to take a video of this because there's some of these that I might go to. Mm, definitely the uh, Hockney portrait in nails. Uh, yeah. So if you are on about, whilst when this video does go up, like in a, in a montage, and these are still on, uh, until till the end, uh, was the 16th of December, 1627. Yeah, this will be up by the 16th of December. So if there's any of these left, then uh, <clears throat> you can go to some of these. There's just something nice about exploring, like different areas. Like I've been to Bradford. God knows how many times in my lifetime, but there's still places I've never been. Like, small little places I've never been, seen, and like to explore. Like, yeah, I'd like to do that. So, like, he, like here with the church, like, I don't, I've not often, I've always passed the church, but never actually looked around it. And, uh, it's quite a nice church, I have to admit. There's no litter, there's no nothing, it's quite nice. Uh, even some of these plants behind me are quite nice as well and uh, the exit down there is shut off due to safety reasons due to falling masonry it looks okay at me but I'll take the word for it it's only 20 past 9 so I can go it like literally I should think about heading down to Broadway in about 10 minutes and go in get signed in and probably have something to eat and then 10 for shift. Great! So I get to the end, Bradford, the Cathedral, Bradford Cathedral, thinking I'm getting to a gate now, I'm pretty much going to be able to get through it. Uh, yeah, about that. So finished. Wow, I've actually finished. Uh, it's 4.23 now and the train is in five minutes. And then I ended up getting one of them two for seven uh, pound uh, chocolate box deals uh, because I've well these because I've got a student discount it's five pound sixty so I've actually just not only saved money on having to spend another one because it's seven pound so I've like literally got one for free I've just paid less than what one would cost anyway. So that's good because of my discount. So platform is empty, but it looks it. The next train to arrive at so platform one is the sixteen twenty-eight Northern service to Blackpool North. This is what I'm getting on. Calling at Halifax, Sowerby Bridge, Sowerby Bridge, Yeah. Who'd only got a Blackburn? No offense. So, also, oh yeah. Also, there's the other thing as well. I wonder when the next MS Social is. Because I had such a blast with it before. So, I'm curious to know when it may be. If there is another one. But it was just so good. Like, yeah, it was just so good to be on. It's just untrue how good it was. So. Yeah, looking forward to when that may be. So, welcome to a new day and uh, saw something that I didn't expect with YouTube. Well, actually, yeah, I did because it's YouTube. But, so, if you know where, in April, they said they would demonetize any videos on any channel that's under 10,000 lifetime views, right? And uh, my vlogging channel, which is this, and my gaming channel with Michael and Ryan is under 10,000 views, right? So, 
there to channels not worthy of making money but the thing was since April when that was announced the thing was there was no announcing there was no announcing it was only yesterday when it said oh in April any channel with 10,000k any channel under 10k views cannot make money so this is really really choking out small youtubers that want to make money um, but, uh, but to be fair I made my money my opportunity for becoming a YouTube partner from just pretty much being a dick like on my main channel so the, the original plan is the original thing was if you had 10,000 lifetime views on your account not on one two on, not on one or two channels on your account you could make money and on my main channel, which I no longer really use, to be fair, I have 433,000 views, lifetime views. So I think that makes it eligible for the other two. But no, now it is for each channel. So, and I have looked on my vlogging channel and I have 1,000 lifetime views. Yeah. And I've got like roughly 100 on my gaming channel so yeah that's 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 uh, that's it now really I'll still keep posting but I really want to do a long topic video on this because if if I'm gonna make the opportunity to make money again not that it was really much but have the opportunity to get to that point again then we YouTubers that are small got to stick together, help each other out, get high. So uh, that was a great way to come back home from work yesterday. But it's YouTube, isn't it? They hate small channels. What did what didn't I? What, what was I supposed supposed to expect? That looks a little rusty, doesn't it? My god! It's a good shot. Time to go to the hairdressers and get this cut. I know it doesn't look much, but it feels quite, uh, like, thick. So yeah, time to get it cut. See you in about an hour. And there we have it. I know it doesn't look different, I know it doesn't look too different, but when you start to get it really cut, you get to tell the difference of like how thick it is. But yeah, nice and smart uh, for tomorrow, uh, because I think I'm going to be having a meeting with Hobie and Joyce about uh, ex my extension. Why am I doing that? Uh, that's better. <laughs> Do you know, I find it a real shame with this... Uh, viaduct bit like so many people and including myself walk along here but so many people as in like the younger generation and maybe some people my age as well maybe can't say that's not the case but uh, people like to smash like bottles of like alcohol and like look here right so shards of glass that just that somebody just randomly decides to smash here on like a random bit and then people have to clean it up me included and then it's the same kind of like along down the path down this way as well like it's a shame that it's such a, a nice path to walk along and such a good shortcut and a nice area for views gets ruined by yobbos and bear in mind, okay, 
I was not the best of kids when I was 18 or 17, 16, but I didn't actually go around vandalizing. Difference there uh, between me, what I would what I would do when I'm these kids at these kids' ages, or to what they are now. Like I wouldn't go around smashing anything. Wouldn't. But uh, people don't get the message like they do now. And look, here's another example. Literally just at the end of the path and there's like loads of glass just here. I mean just yesterday this was spewed all over the all over the path. It's it's saddening, like that people will have a drink of something and it's fine. I'm I'm not saying it's not illegal to have something to drink up here that's in a glass bottle. That's fine. What's not fine is when it gets smashed into so many tiny little pieces. And bear in mind at the end of the viaduct going like to Clay House and like coming back down from uh, the viaduct to come into a swale, there's a bin at the end. So really, it's just laziness that someone wouldn't put they put it in a bin, but to purposefully smash it instead. I mean, where's the logic? I'll tell you where is it? I'll tell you where it is at. Uh, nowhere, because they probably don't have any to understand the consequences that they're having uh, putting across. It's quite a nice view at the moment, except for traffic. Sit a load of it. Because uh, there's always going to be traffic at this time. Because people have to be about and about. Out and about. There we go. It's quite nice. It's only 7 o'clock in the morning. So, welcome to a new day. Uh, this is the second attempt at doing an intro for today. Because uh, when you're when vlogging and you have an itchy foot, you can't have either. Itchy foot comes first. Like, yeah, ouch. I couldn't, I couldn't vlog and I was like, my foot was just really itching so I had to stop. Uh, to take, to really sort it out. So going to work today, it's quite hazy as well. And it's quite nice to have the viaduct to myself. And it is roughly now about five past eight. So going in good time, good spirit. And with my probation, this is actually twil well, week 12 of 12 of my probation, so yeah, that's kind of scary, but from last week, I was told I'd have a meeting. Don't know when this meeting would be. Could be when I get in the building and then saying, oh, Jamie, we'll have this meeting now. Could be at 12 o'clock, could be any time. So, yeah. Uh, I think as far as I'm aware, I've got to fill out like a feedback form, like like things to fill out. So. Like that will that will take time up when I'm should be downstairs. But if I've been told to fill out this, fill out that, then uh, yeah. And let's see today if I can get any CSAT mentions. Which is so bear in mind. Okay, with the customer service, uh, when you're serving a customer, you get you can either get a receipt uh, and a voucher, or if you're new to Sparks account you get a welcome offer but you can also get a customer service feedback survey sheet piece of paper so they can fill it so they go to a website and they give like their own survey and if they wish to mention the staff member that's to serve them they can I've already had one mention and bear in mind I'm newish I'm new I'm, I'm newish compared to all the other people out there so to get one is good, and then another person said they'd mention me. So I was like, thank you. So if I can keep those coming in, then I'm doing something right. Because if I'm not getting sats, then I'm not saying there's nothing that I'm doing wrong, but it's good to get them. And as far as I'm aware today, the staff are getting creamed. Not in a rude way, but like the three, they're getting cream price thrown at them. And uh, I don't know if it's staff throwing them or customers. 
Either way, I'm not going to be throwing them because I don't want to do it. I couldn't, I couldn't, I couldn't face myself to do it. Like I've grown into a relationship with knowing these people. I don't want to throw a cream pie in the face. Not really. So I've got my train ticket, going to Bradford in about 10, 12 minutes or so. And uh, just been asking about uh, the train rail strikes on the on the 5th of October, right? Because uh, there's some on the 3rd which can affect me, because I don't go to Bradford on a Tuesday. But on the Thursday, I was like, oh no, are these trains going to be delayed by quite a lot? So I'm in quite early, earlier than I normally would. But the 848 train, which I'm waiting for now, is still coming. Alternatively, if I was to miss that, the 906 boat train is still going, so that's still going. Then on the way back home, finish at five o'clock and can be quite 50-50 in whether I miss the 514 train. And if that's not a thing, the 525 is still going. So it means that I can get to Bradford on time uh, and it means I can actually get home from Bradford to home uh, without worrying about delays. So, yep, that's uh, nice to know. Nice to know. So, that's what's over there. Uh, Rolo, uh, round tree, I think that is, and shredded wheat. And Quality Street, and after a minute. And I've literally just got an update on my phone saying, 19 minutes left of recording that's good i can make plenty of stuff out of that so i finished for today uh didn't really have a meeting as such uh don't think i'm gonna really have one as such really uh just continuing till the end of october so uh it turns out the reason why is because the person that wanted to speak to me i know who it is i'm not gonna say who though uh isn't in until monday and i'm not in on a monday so uh, that's why I didn't have a meeting today. Uh, so waiting for a train to come back to Halifax. It's about 20 past five, uh, five minutes away. So it's about 10, 20 minutes, 10, 10, 15 minutes to get to Halifax. So it's like 20 to six. And then go to the bus station for like 10 to six. Get on a bus, be home for about past six o'clock and then get home for roughly. I'm gonna say roughly get home for about half six because of traffic so yeah uh, I've just, and I've also just been and got some stuff as well like here uh, big biscuits wise got the shortbread in the red box and it's a nice box and what else we've got I've got a chocolate got cookies one in a brown box that's nice they're nice they're nice just to sip to eat on with some milk and watch something funny on TV uh, yeah so be nice to go home So, welcome to Friday. It's funny how much the weather can change in a short space. Okay, so like for the most of the day, it's been fairly over, over, uh, over, uh, overcast, and then it's rained quite a lot, and then it stayed overcast again, and then we've just had sun, and then sun with uh, about a 20 minute shower, and now it's sunny again, and it's not forecast to rain at all now whenever so uh, gonna brisk it by not taking a coat really nice at the moment for now so I can't see it very well on my screen because right now for me it's very sunny but there's the uh, wall up there that's got the art on it now I've wanted to go up there for a while and I'm thinking when my mum and dad are away for a week come to Halifax and find it because I'm thinking it looks like South Arham way and there's a fire up there as well I'm not going up there and what's happening there then so best bet is actually to head to South Arham then maybe so I'm in the top of the cubicle and it's falling apart to fair very nice what's about four minutes away from Bradford and then who knows I mean, I've started for what happens between the day and the four o'clock. Not really sure. 
So it's a bit sad that I didn't get to see the coffee morning with Miller this morning. With Miller coffee morning this morning. Uh, it's a bit sad that I couldn't really see the bike. Got it. Jesus. <laughs> oh, jeez. Uh, it's a shame that the cake display was really good. And it's probably all gone now. <coughs> God, what was that smell? Uh, and the cream in the staff with the cream pies. Missed that as well. So, uh, yeah. Just going to start a shift when everything's happened. Things happen, no go. Just stumbled across. Uh, ugh, I've just stumbled upon this on Chapel Street in Bradford. Wow. So I have like an armchair, like a crooked, what, a crooked frame, and a grandfather clock. Nice. You see, I've been to Bradford how many times? But there's still things that I don't know of that are there, like the stuff behind me. <clears throat> so I'm just going to quickly go in Kala Sangam. Quickly, for a little bit. Why not? Well, there's nobody saying I can't be in here, so... Just got this whole exhibition to myself. I mean, there's work there. There. And what I really like is that. That's cool. So when I'm back with Ryan on, when I'm back again in Bradford with Ryan to visit the museum, I'm going to come back here and then just try film a bit more. Looks really cool. So walking around, there's literally no one here. The reason why is because on Monday to Friday, uh, it's open, but on Friday evenings, it's usually abandoned, like there's nobody in normally. And what I thought was a little weird was the owner downstairs said, instead of like saying hello, he said, when are you going back to work? I was like, so you don't want me here? And uh, something I found quite cool is, because uh, I'm in the cafe bit right now, No idea who you are. Oh wait. Is it Winston Churchill? Oh god. I think it is Winston Churchill. Maybe. I don't know. But yeah, it's really nice up here. So I can imagine it when it's really busy, it's quite good. Especially at that back bit where there's leather sofas. And I don't think you're allowed to film downstairs. But I think I got away with what I did. If I'm allowed to film then it's good. Well, that's nice before I start work. And the thing is, I wasn't even, fu I didn't fully go around it as well. I only went on like the top two floors. Because, you see this building by, behind me? All of that is Carlos Sangam. Pretty cool in there. So, it's not open on a Sunday. Right. And if you see behind me, I don't know if you can. I'm in it. There we go. So, yeah, that was actually pretty nice in there. A bit warm, but uh, as what it was like then, pretty nice, pretty quiet, pretty nice. I'm gonna stop vlogging because it's so sunny. I actually can't see where I'm going. And the smell again. There's a difference, there's a, there's a smell again, Jesus. Right, I'm gonna stop vlogging now. So I went to Kalas Sangam from the back. Time to go in through the front. I'm not breaking in because it's open. So literally, going through that entrance is an alternative way of getting in. Nothing the same. It's short as well. So I can't even go in. Oh, what a shame. So it's half so I better just go in because I need to get the stuff sorted in the locker perhaps even go to the toilet have a little sit down 
and then that's it for four hours. It's not a lot, but get to routine. So I'm on the train, I don't know how, but uh, made it on time. Uh, thanks to someone who gave me a lift. I was like, oh no, I'm not going to get on the train on time. Uh, and so I'm going to give it no spur. Uh, yeah, I'm on it, 906 train. And I saw loads of scouts, so I was like, don't be busy, don't be busy. Uh, but there's hardly anyone on the train, so that's fine. Now I'm gonna have to, the conductor's coming, I'm gonna have to stop vlogging. So I'm in Bradford, casually walking through the leisure exchange. There's no one here. Literally just me. It smells really nice as well. I hope that music isn't copyrighted. It smells really nice. It smells like pancakes. Anyone around here? No. Just shucks me. I was saying shucks so I didn't want to walk into that pole. And trust me, I am... Where's the lighting gone? There we go. I am dumb enough to do that. So literally walking through by myself and I've got a coat with me just in case it rains and I'm glad I brought it because it did start raining in Halifax. Uh, I wonder if this pit will smell again because I was here yesterday and it smelled really bad. So uh, fingers crossed it doesn't. Fingers crossed. Yes, it does. It smells very bad. Well, it's 4.22, uh, so I finished, uh, for s finished today. So I'm in next Thursday. Gee, whew. it's been good. It's been busy. It's been good though. So, I'm gonna go home now. And as far as I'm aware, I think I might be going on the bike as well. Stop interrupting me. I mean, why not? It's Halifax. What the? Station here. I'm curious to know how long we've been stationed for. It's been about five minutes. And them at the back are uh, really annoying. So I'm back in West Vale. Pretty tired, as you can tell from my voice. Uh, probably not the best idea to do a vlog under trees when it's just been raining. Yep, that's the decision I'm going for, to vlog under trees whilst it's partly rained. Yeah, so literally going home and I think I'm going to end fragments tonight uh, for this episode and because then tomorrow if you've got to the end of this video then Freaking well done to you. Uh, I'm gonna, I think, I mean, of course, I'm gonna put like a separate announcement up as well, but I think I wanna go back to doing like my like daily vlogging. Like, like, it's like tomorrow I'm meeting Ryan, going for a meal, then I'm going to the cinema, and then elsewhere I can do other, I'll be doing other things on that day, so I might as well just vlog loads of stuff for the whole day and then have 
like a 10 minute footage of the day rather than have like a frag I could still do fragments from the Monday coming up for me until the Saturday so a seven day period no a six day period uh, and then after that we're going to the media centre and getting wet with Ryan so that'll be another video so I can do this end this tonight then put you know separate video for tomorrow then have from Monday to Saturday totally new totally one episode of fragments so vlog as much as I can or just do as short as I can depending what and then yeah all good and well so even though I'm going to outro it here I still might film more afterwards because you never know because it's me so have a Jimmy like comment subscribe new here and I'll see you soon with more content goodbye